Hey, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico coming with a quick video. Just wanted to update y'all on the Brandon Sheriff injury. It's a knee injury. Shouts out to Morgan Moses for causing it slightly. Not gonna put all the blame on him, but he did block Buddy into Brandon Sheriff's leg. Got rolled up on. But luckily for us, with all of the major injuries going on, I mean, the 49ers are decimated. Solomon Thomas, Nick Bosa out for the year. Raheem Mostert out for a long period of time. Jimmy Garoppolo out four to six weeks. Corlin Sutton for the Denver Broncos. Their team is on the come up. He's out for the season. Along with Drew Locke being hurt, Phillip Lindsay being hurt. Then you have the Giants who lost Saquon Barkley for the year. I mean, it was all kinds of injuries in week two. This seemed like what we would have seen in week one with everybody not being in football shape and a lot of injuries happening. I thought after week one, after, like, you know, for the most part, everybody came out all right. There were a lot of injuries, but there weren't just, like, straight season in the injuries like there were in week two. And luckily for us, we're on the right side of luck or whatever you want to call it because Brandon Sheriff with his knee injury is only expected to miss a few weeks. Ron Rivera said it was good news when they found out the severity of his injury. He said exactly he's gonna miss a few weeks or something like that but it was positive. We'll go from there. I'll give the media an update on the full injury report on Wednesday. So we'll see Wednesday when, like what exactly it is like is it a sprain or whatever. All we know right now is that it's a knee injury and that he won't be out too long. Now, I'm not expecting him to be there against the Browns or the Ravens, but maybe he'll be back after that. We have to see though. Again, they don't know everything, but at least they said they got good news and it's not an out for season type of thing. It's just a missed a few weeks type of thing. But it was so weird yesterday because after Brandon Sheriff got hurt, I wouldn't necessarily say our offensive line looked better, but Dwayne Haskins started getting hit less. And most of the reason is because we finally turned our offense to a more fast-paced offense. Dwayne Haskins was not shotgun a lot. We had a lot of quick passes. We just ran an overall far faster tempo shortly after Brandon Sheriff got hurt. So it made the offensive line look like they got better without him. But I'm pretty sure Wes Schweitzer is not better than Brandon Sheriff. But Brandon Sheriff did get beat badly a couple of times that game. He was not having a good game before he got hurt. But the overall scheme of everything is just crazy. Because, I mean, it literally seemed like that the Brandon Sheriff got hurt. Our offense just looked better. But it's mostly because Scott Turner finally turned the offense into a more fast-paced, up-tempo offense that Dwayne Haskins thrives in. And it kind of eliminates Chandler Jones from being a real factor because if we're throwing the ball sooner, he doesn't have a chance to dominate Jerron Christian, get around him. And I'm going to talk about this in greater detail when I do like a Scott Turner's play calling review at some point in the middle of the season. But like, I know a lot of people want Scott Turner to run this fast-paced offense from the jump, and maybe we could come out with it, but we can't run it an entire game. Because even though Haskins is best in a two-minute offense, with how limited we are in talent, weapons-wise for Dwayne Haskins and offensive line-wise, controlling the clock with a good run game and how great our defense is seems to be the best answer for winning games. But on the other end, with how bad our offensive line is and how great Dwayne Haskins looks in the two-minute hurry-up offense or when we're playing from behind, you kind of want us to speed up the tempo. But both of those are just contradictory. Maybe we can find a nice balance, and that's what Scott Turner's been trying to do. That's why we haven't been running that up-tempo offense all game. Because you also want to let the defense rest a little bit. Because if we run that up-tempo too much and we just consecutively go three and out then the defense is tired and you saw by near the end of the game how tired the defense was because first of all we were turning the ball over special teams that one sack fumble but also once we started picking up the pace and even though we were moving the ball and we started putting points up on the board the defense was having to go back onto the field pretty quickly because we were just moving the ball so fast whether it be a punt or a score either way the offense wasn't out there for long and then here comes the defense having to get right back up off their seats and get ready to go out there and try to stop Kyler Murray again. So I still don't exactly know how Scott Turner is going to be able to balance it. Maybe we should just go all out and try to do fast tempo an entire game and just see what happens because if there's a year to do it, it's this one. I don't know. But again, it's, it's really interesting that Brandon Sheriff got hurt and the offense looked better. But again, it was more so Scott Turner's play calling and his overall strategy after Brandon Sheriff got hurt. 
and it's not like Wes Schweitzer just came in and played better than Brandon Sheriff. But we'll see, man. When the update comes out Wednesday, I'll give y'all that update, especially with like an injury report preview versus the Browns, where I'm going to give y'all who's in and who's out, who practiced and all of that type of stuff. I definitely have y'all some time during this week for that. But definitely get into the comment section and let me know how you feel about the pace of the offense. Do you think we should just run a two-minute, fast-paced, up-tempo offense, no huddle, shotgun all game and see what happens? Or... Do you want to keep trying to balance it out like Scott Turner's been trying to do? And how do y'all feel about Brandon Sheriff? Do you really think he's worth that big time money that he's going to ask for at the end of this season again? Do you think we're going to just end up franchise tagging him again? I mean, let me know. Between the injuries, between him getting beat more than I remember him getting beat, it's definitely something to think about. This is definitely his year to prove that he deserves all of that money that he wants. So yeah, definitely get in the comment section and let me know how y'all feel about all of those topics. And as always, please like the video if you liked it. If you learned anything, please subscribe if you haven't. Definitely hit that bell next to the subscription button. And I always appreciate and I always appreciate all my supporters, especially all of the names that are scrolling on the screen right now, all my Pro Bowl supporters. But shouts out to any sponsor, no matter what level you are. I really appreciate it. Shouts out to everybody that donates. Shouts out to everybody that calls into the post-game live streams after the games. Shouts out to everybody who's there during the games, watching the games with us. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to everybody, man. I really appreciate y'all. I'll catch y'all later. I'm out.